Hey, what's up everybody? I hope you're stoked because today's a good day. Today, we're making Guinness braised short ribs. Hey, what's up everybody? Dennis the Prescott here. I love Guinness. You love Guinness. It's so drinkable, it's so delicious. Not enough people cook with it as well. There's something about drinking and cooking with the same liquid that is just epic, next level awesome. Short ribs are delicious and if you've never cooked them before, I highly recommend it. Super underused cut, but really delicious. It takes a little extra time though. Low and slow in the oven. And today, we're gonna low and slow braise them in Guinness and it is gonna soak in all of that awesomeness for a few hours in the oven, which will give us enough time to drink a pint or two and and also get some creamy mashed potatoes to serve it underneath. It's gonna be amazing. Okay, short rib time. We've got some beautiful short ribs from the local market. As always, invest a little bit more in your beef. Get it local, you know what you're eating and it's gonna taste a lot better for it. So we're gonna season these up real generously with salt and pepper. We've got a Dutch oven preheating over about medium high. So what we're gonna do is season these up when we're gonna brown them off so they get that nice color on the outside and then slowly braise them on the inside. I'll remember that you can't season the inside of your steak or your beef or your whatever, so generously season the outside. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna brown off these short ribs. Nice Dutch oven here over medium high heat. A Little bit of olive oil into the pan. You might need to do this in batches. Depends on how big your short ribs are, depends on how big your pan is, but basically you just wanna get a nice bit of color on all of these short ribs, and then we're gonna move on to the next step. Okay, so once the short ribs are all browned off, take those out, leave any oil that's in the pan, and we've got a little bit of a holy trinity action going on here, onion, celery, and some carrots. We're gonna go in with that and just cook these down. It's probably gonna take about five, six minutes, just until the veggies are a little bit softened, and then we'll move on from there. All right, so after about five, six minutes, we're gonna go in with garlic and fresh thyme, cook that down for about 45 seconds or so, and then it's Guinness time. So we're gonna go in with a couple bottles of Guinness into our veggies. What that's gonna do, obviously it's gonna add deliciousness, but it's also gonna help deglaze this pan. Take all those brown bits that have developed from the meat and the veggies on the bottom of the pan, and it's gonna work its way into this magical sauce. So Guinness is in the pan. We're gonna go in with some tomatoes, crushed tomatoes we've got here. Lastly, we're gonna go in with some beef stock. Then we're gonna add our short ribs back to this pan, transfer it to the oven, and continue with the cooking process. So our short ribs are almost done. They've been in there for about two hours. We've been checking on them, starting to fall away from the bone, so it's mashed potato time. You know the drill, creamy mashed potatoes. You just whack those potatoes in a pot of salted water, bring it to a boil, tons of butter. It's gonna be delicious. Mash that up, whip it up if you'd like, and then we'll be ready to serve up alongside of our short ribs. When your short ribs are all done, spread those mashed potatoes on a plate, top them with short ribs, some extra sauce for deliciousness, a little bit of parsley for color, and you're off to the races. Y'all, I love this recipe, and I guarantee your friends and family will too. If you want any of the exact measurements or ingredients, hit the link below to go to my website. And big thanks to the folks over at Guinness. They are awesome, Guinness is awesome. You need some more of that goodness in your life. And if you're not subscribed already, I would love you to be part of this community. Hit that subscribe button, hang out here often. We'll see you next time for more deliciousness.